Consider this 4x4 matrix A. What row or column will make calculating the determinant through cofactor expansion easy to calculate? An easy way to pick is to select the row or column that contains the most zeros. Which row or column of our matrix has the most zeros? Well, column 3 has the most zeros, so let's expand down column 3. Using cofactor expansion, we get the determinant of A is equal to the value in the first position of our column 0 times its respective cofactor C13 plus the value in the second position of our column times its respective cofactor C23 plus the value in the third position of our column times its respective cofactor C33 plus the value in the fourth position of our column times its respective cofactor C43. What do you notice about three of these terms? Three of them have zero times a cofactor. So regardless of what the cofactor is equal to, the zero is going to dominate it and make it zero. So really, the determinant of A using column 3 is going to be equal to 1 times C33. And that is equal to 1 times positive 1, the sign that's in the same position of our sign chart, times the minor of our entry. The minor of our entry here ends up being a determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix. This cofactor expansion allowed us to reduce the dimension of our determinant. We are now working with determinants of 3x3 three three matrices. Which row or column makes cofactor expansion easy to calculate? Well, column 3 of this determinant is easy to calculate because it has two zeros. Using cofactor expansion along the third column of this determinant, we get 0 times C13 plus 0 times C23 plus 1 times C33. 0 times C13 is 0. 0 times C23 is 0. So this determinant is equal to 1 times C33. What is C33? Well, it's the sign we get from the sign chart, so it gives us positive 1 times the minor we get when we eliminate the third row and third column of our 3x3 three three matrix. We're left with the 2x2 two two determinant, 1, 2, 3, 5. This is equal to 5 minus 6, which is equal to negative 1. So we're left with positive 1 times positive 1 times negative 1, which is equal to negative 1. The determinant of this 4x4 four four matrix is equal to negative 1. By choosing the column that had the most zeros, we are able to kind of reduce the amount of calculations we have to do whenever we're doing cofactor expansion. So for some simple reminders, you can expand across any row or column. It's good practice to pick the row or column that has the most zeros. 